and greetings. Welcome to video four on our series of customizing ISP config. Now we need to start being able to manage our site and we do that through our an FTP client. So what we're gonna do is open our Chrome and here's our site, which is the local, the local server and then our port 8080 on an HTTPS service. So we're gonna set up admin we're going to log in and okay there so there it is coming up okay so now what we're going to start doing is managing how can we manage this the site that we just created we're going to click on sites and now we're going to go ahead and create an account an FTP account so you can click on add new FTP user and then uh, you can see here you all your clients or web website will come up to that particular uh, client. So if it's client number three and he just ha and he has access to ten, and then client number five she just has access to two sites, they would only show two sites. Okay, so that's just how that starts working. So the user for this particular F FTP. It's going to be, uh, I'm just going to call him um, Master uh, FTP Admin. How about that? FTP Admin. And you're going to notice what, what I was talking about earlier about the client name. We'll start seeing that start becoming, a, uh, playing a role. So, i create a the password and there's no quota if, it's, if you are going to put a quota to this particular customer then this is where you would actually do it um, so now if you notice the website is going to be ISP config and then the username is going to be FT freelance tech and then uh, FTP admin so this is the part that I was talking about uh, that you end up having or end up running into very long names so we already created a user um, you notice that it's still creating it what we're going to do meanwhile it creates it we're going to open our FTP client which is I'm using FileZilla and I'll minimize this there's okay so there's our FileZilla um, and I'm, a, I'm actually gonna, I wanna save it. So I'm gonna create a new site. And the site name is gonna be uh, ISP config-tutorial. Now this could be whatever you want. This is just a descriptive name. Uh, under host, it is gonna be that .net. Now if you know the IP address, you could just put the IP address so it's I mean, there's a lot of ways to dice this thing. Uh, the username is going to be, uh, the user type is going to be normal. And now the username is going to be this long name. This this long name. That's why, you know, it's it's up to you, however you got want to set it up. But that's just something to keep track of. Okay, so what you're going to do here is just paste this. Okay, and then we're going to enter the password that we created. And we're gonna press OK. And when you press OK, it just generates it. Uh, so it's right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on Connect. And always trust, because it's just local. And there it is. This is what you would actually be greeted by. So now your actual, like if you're used to using ISP, con excuse me, uh, a cPanel or some other public, um, you know, the commercial type, um, theirs are probably going to be called uh, public here it's called web so you actually double click on web and there's this is the file this is the file that 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 we that we saw earlier this would be it so what we're going to do just for testing I'm going to create a new um, just a basic HTML so I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call this um, um, oh here it goes ISP P config tutorial oops dash 
tutorial.net site works and a happy face okay and this is I'm just creating a very basic file and and it's gonna be an HTML actually you know what it's gonna be I'm just literally gonna type it in so this can be index dot HTML yeah it's just gonna be easier I was gonna show you guys how to do that but I mean it's just easier to just type it in and call it a day okay okay so we know that that file is ready now what we're gonna do is open our FTP again navigate to documents which is where I dumped it and here it is right here see we just created so all I'm gonna do is just drag it into the site and I'm gonna overwrite okay so the transfers finished if I was to open this well not this but the actual Google Chrome and now go to the ISP config is uh, there it goes ISP config .net, you're notice I'm going to be greeted by that page here it is but remember how I didn't set up a paragraph or I didn't do page breaks or anything so I just put it up as one big line but here it is so the site's actually up and running um, now you start seeing how you start setting up your FTPs and set up quotas and so forth um, hopefully the video is starting to make sense uh, on how you start setting up ISP and how powerful it really is um, again all that good jazz thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you on the next one we're gonna get deeper into this thing thanks